Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to open up and trade through a dome. I'll also be walking you through a couple of different settings on how to make your life easier when trading through the dome. And this is all, of course, going to be covered on the Jigsaw Day Trader software. So first up, we'll need to open up our workspace. Once we have our workspace open, we'll, of course, brought to be brought to our toolbar manager here. Now, if you don't see it in to access the dome, you'll need to click on the depth and sales icon here. If you don't see it, and as I was alluding to, you might want to click add a remove buttons. This is located on the right hand side here. Click this little drop down, click this add a remove buttons drop down, go to tools and then make sure depth and sales is enabled. Once you have verified that it is enabled, we can click on depth and sales. And this will begin the process of opening up our dome. Now from here, you will need to select the symbol that you would like applied to your dome. Of course, we can use futures, spreads, stocks, or we can integrate a uh, platform. In this video, we're going to just focus on futures. Of course, we have my rhythmic paper trading account. I established my account right here. If you do have multiple, please select the account you wish or intend to trade with right in the beginning here. And then we can search for the session, which is going to be our exchange. Or if we have our symbol saved here, we can just start to search it, select it, and it'll fit up, fill out both for us. Once we're ready, we can click OK. And as you can see, this will bring open our dome. Now from here, we have a couple different options. So of course, you can resize and expand your dome as needed to make it uh, a bit more viewable. It's also worth mentioning that before you do get started, there's the enable or disable placing orders. If you want to trade through this, you can simply make sure this is activated just at, with a left click. This will lock it as you will see here. So this will prevent you from placing orders. If you uncheck it, then we can begin placing orders. So as you can see, you can left click on the corresponding side of the dome on the type of orders you want to place. A left click will go ahead and place your limit order there. A right click will do the same. You can left click on your orders to edit them if you want. You can adjust your limit price, your quantity accordingly. And then if you need to, you can adjust your stop price and stop volume as well. It's also worth mentioning that at the top of the page here, you do have quite a few different options to choose from. You can, of course, center the price if it starts getting away from you. You can clear your total trades, which I'll do now since we just got filled on one. We can clear total trades up. So anything above the market, anything below the market, we can clear trades on that way. We can clear current trades. If you do have any there, you can clear current trades up, current trades down. You can clear alerts if you have them. And then here you'll notice on the left hand side, we get a working volume profile bar. If you want to reset that, you can just click on clear volume profile. And as you can see, it'll start building itself back up. Continuing on now, we have a strength meter. This is on the left hand side that'll pop up. You can resize this and move it around if you need to. And this is just going to show you the strength in the market between the bid and ask. You can close this out. You can reverse. And you can change the orientation. Now, continuing on, it's also worth mentioning that you can open up trading settings. That's the dollar sign symbol up here in the toolbar here. And this is another method of order entry. So if you want to, this is probably good to have open at all times. This, if as you can see, there's a button for flattening and cancel. So we can flatten out our orders, which as you saw, we did have that limit order. So sitting there, it hadn't reached the market price yet. So it was not filled. You can flatten out your orders that way. You can also cancel any working orders as well. As you can see, you can switch trading accounts here as well. So this is a good ease of access tool to switch accounts rather than having to go back here and opening up a new dome and et cetera. Um, you can change your quantity here. You can change it here as well. You can add stop orders, limit orders from here, or you can adjust your stop loss here. You do have auto, which I believe will default to a market. If you want, you can also choose your market, you know, your corresponding uh, buy or sell side up here. You can also place orders at the ask or the bid. You can adjust trailing orders here if you want. 
And then you have some other buttons such as OCO and, and stops and limits and take profits and things of that nature. If you want to use a different flag, order flag or, you know, order duration, you can choose them from right here. You have a day or good to cancel by default. It's also worth mentioning that there's um, same thing. You could do your orientation here as well. So you can put it up to the left side of your dome or wherever you want and orient it in a way that you like. If you haven't already seen our charting video, you can open up a chart from here as well. Just click on the charting button. It's going to be right here. And as you can see, it'll open up a fully functional chart directly attached to your dome. So you can do something like this and configure it that way. And that way you get your dome, your order entry and your chart all up at one time. Some other things worth mentioning is you can open up a search window if you want here to open up a new contract. If you want to, you can utilize the chat window, which will open up an exterior in most likely Windows um, Explorer or whatever your default browser is. This allows you to communicate and chat with other traders if you need to talk about signals or the way the market's moving, whatever the case is. And then finally, you do have some settings, which we will dive into in another video. These are pretty much just going to be anywhere from parameters, as you can see here. This is just things such as updating intervals and um, your mouse scroll sensitivity, volume profiles. You can adjust the different columns in your dome here. So if you want, you can completely get rid of the order column column. If you don't like volume profile on your dome, you can get rid of that. We can get rid of bid ask. You can really get rid of everything if you wanted to. Not sure why you would want to do that, but you know, everybody has their own preferences here. If you don't use alerts, it's probably better off to get rid of it because it's just empty space. Same thing with maybe orders or volume profile. It really just depends. As you can see, it updates in real time, so feel free to adjust or edit as needed. Some other things worth mentioning is appearance. You can change the text or the, you know, specific colors here. Um, you have grid colors, center colors, order colors, things of that nature. And this works for both, you know, the trade window. You can do this for alerts, trade columns, volume, price, total, um, bid and ask columns. Everything can pretty much be customized. Like I said before, I was in, I was alluding to ease of access. We'll also cover this in another video, but just to cover this real quickly, you do have shortcut keys so you can do things such as buy at the market here. There's cancel buttons. You can clear alerts. You can join at the bid, join at the ask every pretty much function within this platform trading wise has the ability to be customized and added to a shortcut key. So it really makes things easy when trading. Speaking of trading, there is a trading tab and these are just some other things that you can use. Close outstanding orders when position is closed. You can clear current trades on a new position. You can recenter your position. You can display queue and vertical. You can, you know, adjust the digits to hide in your account. Other things, there's power meters. If you do use that, we'll cover that in another video. You have JavaScript settings here. You can load different levels. And this, of course, will use external files. And then there's the auction vista, which is the chart that's displayed here. They do consider their chart an auction vista. And this is going to be all for chart customization options. Not going to dive into that here, but just wanted to show you the options again keep an eye out for an, our, our other video on where we'll cover chart customization but that wraps it up for this video just wanted to give you a real quick rundown of how to access the dome and how to place orders through it we'll get into advanced order types and things like that in other videos but this was just a basic tutorial if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe for more jigsaw day trader content we have trading podcasts in future trading advice as well. So stay tuned for that. And as always, thanks for watching.